Good evening. Thanks for joining us. They flew halfway around the world to ski in the pristine backcountry of northern BC. But something went terribly wrong with their heli ski trip. Their helicopter crashed into the mountain, leaving three people dead. This afternoon, the president of the company involved was emotional as he described what happened. CTV Shannon Patterson reports. It's impossible to put into words the profound grief and sorrow that our guests and staff share right now. As he struggled through a prepared statement, the owner of Northern Escape Heliskiing shed some light on a helicopter crash near Terrace Monday afternoon that claimed the lives of three people. Northern Escape Heliskiing had three helicopters operating the area about 30 kilometers to the north of Terrace. Uh, when one of the helicopters was involved in an incident. A pilot and six passengers were on board the Skyline helicopter when it crashed into the side of a mountain. Three of them died. It was one of the survivors who called for help. This was after the helicopter had impacted. The guest was able to use one of our radios. We give our guest radios, uh, guest radios we call them. Uh, he was able to use one of the radios to call for help. The four survivors were taken to Mills Memorial Hospital in Terrace. Two of the patients are considered to be in critical condition and two in serious condition. Italian media has identified two of the victims as 29-year-old Heiner Jr. Overock and 35-year-old Andreas Vidman, who were part of a larger heliskiing group from northern Italy. I think the community is grieving. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough loss in the community. You know, there's people that work in, in our town that, that work for this company, and I think really hard on them, and I, you know, our, our hearts bleed for those folks. Since it opened 20 years ago, Northern Escape has contracted Skyline helicopters out of Kelowna for its backcountry skiing expeditions. Every helicopter comes with a pilot and an engineer and the engineer uh, maintains the helicopter daily. In a statement Skyline Helicopters said our staff and clients are an integral part of our extended family. Words cannot convey the profound grief we feel. At the moment it's unclear what the cause of the incident was. We're working closely with the RCMP, Transport Safety Board, WorkSafe BC and other authorities to support the investigation. Northern Escape is pausing operations while its staff gets trauma counselling, but it does plan to take clients heliskiing in these mountains again. Like all other adventure sports, there's some risk in it, and no matter how hard we try, we just can't eliminate it. Shannon Patterson, CTV News.